it's Shelby. Welcome back. Today I actually need to clean out a candle jar that I just burned all the candle of. So I thought that might be helpful for at least some of you. So that's what I'm going to do today. Show you a quick, easy, no fail method to clean out your candle jars after you use them and we'll just get right into it. So this right here is the candle I'm looking to clean. I removed the label prior to burning it, but you can see it's got a lot of wax in there still. It's got a lot of buildup of soot. That thing's glued to the bottom, so uh, yeah. But it's a cute little jar, and I actually have an idea for what I want to use it for anyway. So I ripped off the plastic thing. I always do that when I burn them, and then it's just like a little glass jar. So basically, I'm going to show you an easy way to remove all the wax in there so that you can use it for other things quickly and simply. You're going to need a pot which will basically allow the candle to sit in it to the point of the wax. So take your pot of boiling water, you can take that off if you want, and just fill it up in the pot around your candle. Whoops, don't let it float away. Just a little extra weight. So you can see the very top of my wax is right there. So I'm gonna try and get it submerged. There we go. That's about as much water as I want to pour in there without it overflowing. And just let it sit for a second. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see um, there's a change in light kind of going across the candle there. That's because the outer layer of wax that's adhered to the glass is melting. I'm kind of shrinking it in a little bit so you don't need the whole thing to melt. We're not pouring it out. I want it in a solid chunk for easy removal. I'm just letting it kind of loosen up a little bit. So a good way to test if it's done is to open it up and kind of move the candle around. If you can move it 360, could you see that? If you can move the wax in there 360, then the outer layer is done. So I'm just going to take a bowl, cover it with a paper towel. That's just for ease of cleaning. off my hot water because if I don't, I will burn myself. And then I have my candle. And basically any utensil works. I like forks. They just seem to work pretty well for me. Just kind of stab it and pull it right out. Just kind of like that. Trying to get this on camera as well as do it. The jar is a little hot, so I'm just going to use a towel to kind of grip it with, but. The jar of this candle is slightly smaller than the inside, so it's a little bit trickier, but it's actually good for the purposes of this video because then you can see kind of what the real challenges are. I haven't done anything, I just kind of changed the angle. Basically, you can just wipe off the fork. And this stuff is all still relatively malleable. It's still really hot. The jar is actually really hot. Take a paper towel. That's really hot. Just kind of wipe it clean. I'm just kind of scraping the inside clean with a paper towel on a fork to get the bottom and then going back in. 
And at this point, you can just wash it like you would any normal dish because there's not a whole lot of wax that's gonna gum anything up. You can throw it in the dishwasher or just wash it by hand. And the little soot stain on the top actually usually just wipes right out, so it's not even a big deal. And for cleanup for this, the reason I use paper towels, other than like a few things that melted through, your bowl's clean, just throw it in the dishwasher. Perfect. All right guys, that's it. Like I said, really fast, really easy. The results are awesome, super clear, no smudges. So now I can do anything I want with this jar. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you soon. Bye.